My name is Nova, and I'm a sneaker reseller. Join me in my journey, where I turn hype sneakers into riches. Before we talk about anything, we gotta go over my botting setup and around how much it's gonna cost. My first expense is gonna be Notify. In my opinion, this is the most important expense being that this is where I'm gonna go to to know what's gonna drop, where it's gonna drop, what items to go for, what items not to go for, and how to set up for my bots. My next expense will be AYCD plus the auto solve plus the AI add-ons. This is gonna cost me around $55 a month. And now let's get to the bots. First bot is gonna be Hiha. I've never actually used this bot before. However, it does support a lot of websites that many other bots don't support, such as New Balance, Dick Sporting Goods, Snipes, and some retail websites. Next bot, we're gonna go with Trickle. This bot is an absolute beast on Yeezy Supply. So this is what I'm mainly gonna be using this for. However, they also do really well on retail websites. Next bot is gonna be Fowler. This is gonna be $75 a month. This is crazy expensive. However, this thing does it all. It supports most of the major online sneaker retailers and it performs amazing on all of the websites it supports. So yeah, this is definitely worth it. Next up is gonna be Mech. This is an absolute beast on Shopify and it's also really good on Yeezy Supply so definitely gotta have this one on my list. Next up we got Prism. This thing has just been very very consistent for me. Uh, it does very well on foot sites and Yeezy Supply and a few other websites so gotta have that as well. And last but not least we have a Nike sneakers bot coming in at only $20 a month. Unfortunately I'm not allowed to say what bot this is. It's against their rules but it's all good. So now let's talk about the servers I'm going to be using. I'm going to be using three 8x16 Hyonix servers. This is going to cost me $48 a month per server. So in total, it's going to be $144 a month. However, if I do need any extra servers, I will be using AWS. And for that one, I'm going to pay a very low hourly rate. And I just find that to be a little bit more cost effective if I do plan to run many bots for important releases. Now let's get into proxies. This is where it starts to get quite expensive. So I'm going to start off with three plans of the 500 IP, 20 gigabytes of live proxies. This is the best residential proxy provider. No one even comes close. It basically works for every website, super consistent, super fast. So gotta have a bunch of these. Next up, I have two ISP subnets from Surge Proxies. Their ISP proxies are extremely reliable. Been using them for basically almost my entire botting career and they've never really let me down. And we also have a hundred Leaf ISP proxies. I've had these set of proxies for a really long time and they're still extremely consistent. So in total, this comes up to around $2,800. However, this is only the baseline cost. I do expect to spend more money as more important drops come around and these expenses will continue to be tracked throughout the series. But for now, this is gonna be my setup. Alright, first day and already off to an amazing start. I randomly woke up at 5.20 in the morning. I was paying basically for a PS5 restock on GameStop for a PS5 digital bundle, which is very affordable. Still have a lot of room for profit on this, so very happy about that cop. Uh, never mind. This order got cancelled later during the day. A little bit later today, we do have Amamangir Jordan 2's dropping. Tricky part about this is no one really knows if it's going to be a domain change release or if they're just going to drop it on their normal website. No one knows if bots are going to work, bots are not going to work. Honestly, if I'm going to take a guess, I'm going to think that bots will work. I'm going to set up for both anyway. I'm going to try to go manual and bot at the same time. Hopefully, I get at least one of these. I'm on here, drop Travis Scott, bro. Oh, it's a draw, dude. How did I not? Oh, I see. I messed up, bro. 
moving slow, slow. I'm getting preparing failed on uh, my bro. I I can't believe I made such a rookie mistake, dude. <laughs> I didn't change my proxy list. So I was running on the local on a freaking server, bro. I'm stupid as hell. Oh well, I got like uh eight minute queues, but uh, hopefully there's a lot of stuff. I'm I'm, I'm over it, man. All right, so um, that was a flop. Today we have a bunch of dunks dropping on Nike. The thing with Nike is a lot of it is just luck, so I just may or may not cop. But um, yeah, it is what it is. So uh, hopefully we get something today. I also have my mech open just in case something shock drops. Sometimes random drops happen at 10 a.m. EST, so I will be ready in case anything happens. All right, so I answered for these three dunks. One, two, three. So the men's sizes and the GS sizes. Hope we get it, man. Oh, okay. My bot, my Nike bot popped for me. Let's go. That's one so far. Damn, dude, the stock on this shoe was stupid low too, and I managed to cop. I, I guess I'm just lucky. Oh no, declined. Give me more. Yes. Yes. Another one. Another one. Bro, I'm going off. And another one. <laughs> Freaking. <laughs> Dude, I'm destroying, man. Let's go. How am I winning so much? Damn, there's another dunk that I forgot to go for. Oh well, I can't complain, bro. I am destroying. Six checkouts so far. Yeah, I think that's it. I don't think I'm gonna win anymore six checkouts on uh wait hang on actually i didn't check my phone i'm still pending so yeah i think that's a l six checkouts on 46 nike accounts i can't complain that's that's pretty good all right a little bit later today there is going to be a walmart drop for playstation a while back i made a tweet saying this i might have to break few of these rules i won't show what bot i'll use i won't do a live cop but uh i will say what proxies end up working if i end up copying and i don't have a choice i just said like walmart is gonna be dropping so yeah there's no escaping saying what website i cop from if i do cop that is okay walmart drop is coming soon basically during the drop i have to be in this room because of reasons so i'm gonna be trying to cop from my laptop i still have access to my bot being that i am running on a server and then i'm also gonna try to manual at the same time so walmart for the most part it's not too involved when it comes to botting it you just press start and then hope for the best but being that it is walmart we have to have walmart plus accounts so we have to add that to our list of expenses i'm going to be going with 10 walmart plus accounts that's going to be what we're going to be using for our bots and then one of them i'm going to be using for manual <laughs> item almost gone bro what oh six minutes for the bundle that i don't want dude oh no kill on this one it's weird do i even want to get this bundle the disc bundle i'm gonna make like barely any money i think you know what i'm gonna cop first think later all right got one so far i'm gonna i'm not gonna lie i don't know how much money i'm gonna make from that Ooh, i copped one from uh from my bot let's go Top two from my bot. Three. Wait, I think four? Okay, I think so far I got three discs and one disc bundle. I'm not gonna lie, I don't know if I'm gonna get cancelled if I get both the bundle and the non bundle. YOLO. <laughs> oh man, I might regret this. Just got another one, so that's five PlayStation so far. See, that's what I'm saying, man. Like, you don't even really need a bot to cop shoes and stuff limited items rather okay no insta cancel so far i guess that's good all right um at this point it's kind of just like a waiting game see what else i get on the bot i will update you on whether i get more or if i don't so we'll find out all right got some bad news i didn't manage to hit any more restocks and then the other piece of bad news is that all 
of my Walmart orders got canceled except for one. So basically, I was running multiple addresses. However, for some reason, all of my checkouts were to a very similar address instead of the other ones. So I feel like I kind of just got unlucky there. Definitely an L drop because I didn't make my money back on the Walmart Plus accounts, how much that costs versus how much I'm gonna profit off of the PlayStation that I managed to cop, which by the way is already shipped, so I guess that's good news. So for the next Walmart drops, I'm gonna cut down on the accounts that I use uh, to potentially prevent those cancels. Anyways, late last night, Notify posted that there is a potential restock for the slides from kit so we're gonna go ahead and run that up now not sure if it's actually gonna drop but it wouldn't hurt to just go for it so that's what we're gonna do Alright, it actually dropped. I didn't record with my face cam because I, to be honest, I really didn't think it was going to drop, but it dropped and we managed to get two Yeezy Slide Pures. Usually Kith cancels right away. I did not get canceled yet, so I'm almost certain this is going to ship out, so super happy about that. By the way, Notify is restocking on the 6th of July, so if you still need a cook group so you can learn how to get into botting, now's your chance. Tomorrow, we have an extremely important release. We got the Yeezy Foam Runners Onyx. So in preparation for this release, I bought more proxies. First up, I got 40 gigabytes of Wolves proxies. This cost me $252 after using my discount code BOTTERBOYNOVA, which is 40% off. I got 20 gigabytes of Oculus proxies for $88 and 30 gigabytes of Donut proxies for $165. I got these at about 50% off from Notify Group Buys. So as I mentioned in the beginning of the video, Trickle, Mech, and Valor are going to be my main easy supply bots. Thankfully for each of these bots, I'm able to run two instances. So I'm going to be running two mech, two trickle, and two valor. So that's basically going to be my setup. I am going to be putting the vast majority of my best resources into trickle. So I do expect to get the most amount of checkouts from that bot. Last time, trickle absolutely carried my easy supply setup. So um, I'm expecting a similar thing to happen because it's just an absolutely amazing bot. So yeah, I am pretty nervous because I've never really done well on foam runners like ever. Like I've never ever had like a proper cookout for foam runners. I hope tomorrow is the day that I actually go crazy. I'm really hoping that stock numbers are high. If this sells out in like 10 minutes, I will be highly disappointed. By the way, I know the amount of residential proxies I bought is a little bit overkill, especially considering that I already have proxies that I'm going to be using. However, usually for super important drops like these, I like to buy more than I need. You just never know how long the drop is going to last. You just don't want to run out of data mid drop. Secondly, there are going to be more foam runners dropping throughout the month so that's why it wouldn't hurt to basically buy more than i need because i'll just use those for the other upcoming releases so that's that we'll see what happens tomorrow They didn't have anti-bot. Oh shoot. Yeah, me too. Come on. Me too. No, I gotta process before you. No, I got waiting for restock. Damn. <laughs> Got one, got two. 
I got two checkouts. Oh, I got a checkout. Two more checkouts. Should I go for these kids? I think I will. I just got a kids check out. No, we're getting <laughs> we're getting kids. <laughs> Twenty-two checkouts. I am pretty happy about this result. Trickle absolutely went crazy as I predicted. I got the vast majority of checkouts on that. Out of the 22 checkouts, only two of these were kid sizes. The rest were men's pairs. Very, very successful drop. I am very happy with the results. So now we're gonna wait for some of them to come in. In the meantime, this PlayStation came in the one and only surviving order that I got from Walmart has arrived. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and sell this right away to a cash out server. The one that I primarily use is the deal buyer. So I'm gonna go ahead and ship that out either today or tomorrow. So I'll get $615 from that. Not too bad. All right, so basically all of the foam runners came in. I'm always extremely impressed with how fast easy supply ships. So I'm very happy to be able to show them all to you before the next release but we'll get into that a little bit later anyways these foam runners just absolutely gorgeous i know it's just a simple black colorway i think it looks awesome still waiting on a bunch of nike shoes these are the only ones that came in so far actually they got delivered already i just haven't been able to pick them up from my other addresses these dunks are absolutely amazing simple clean colorway but that's just my personal preference i'm personally quite a minimalist when it comes to my personal style so i do appreciate things like this still waiting on a bunch more of these anyways we got another crazy crazy important release coming up we got more foam runners this time in the sand colorway I kind of learned from this release what I have to optimize to hopefully get more checkouts. So that's what we're going to be doing. Hopefully we get even more than this. We'll see how we do on the next episode.